Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to the 20th Christmas update from Gaz Lobby. So here we go again, it's time to bring you another uh, Christmas update. We are coming towards the end of our Christmas updates now, counting down towards the uh, final stages of the Christmas update number 20 of 25. Um, Christmas Eve, a week, to, uh, week on Friday, isn't it? It's a week tomorrow, no, it's a week on Friday. Um, so we're getting towards the end of our Christmas updates anyway, that's the upshot. And uh, I shall get on with the 20 Chris update for you in a moment. Just say a first video he say was our 7 a.m. upload. We've also released the uh, USA forecast as well. And if that was enough, to release a 10 to 14 day, which is extended but very interesting 10 to 14 day. Uh, so have a look at that and see what is going on. We will show you the, although this is like Chris's update, so we'll go day by day. Christmas period with a GFS 12 then uh, we will show you the rest of the 12Z data as well as this is a very very interesting people wouldn't normally do that in a Chris update but I thought why not why not show you the rest of 12Z as well so um, it's going to be a little bit longer than a normal Chris update uh, right thank you so much to uh, Rich of the incredible uh, Chris updates gift I love it thank you so much Rich uh, amazing Chris updates gift um, really have set the scene for this uh, year's season of Christmas updates, I think. So thank you so much to uh, Richard for the gift. Right, so uh, we shall go over to Weta Central and we'll have a look day by day at Christmas. Now we're getting ever close to Christmas, so we're narrowing down the time frame further. We are now starting on the 23rd of December, the eve of Christmas. Christmas Eve is looking like that with the latest GFS 12s. They've run high pressure is ridging through the country. It's quite calm with that high pressure up minus five cells iceberg into the eastern side of the country. There's a lot of dry weather, but a few winter showers are draped around the coast. Dew points are cold, especially so through central, northern, and western areas. So it's a cold ridge. Temperatures are looking cold. Uh, really across most parts of Europe, particularly northern and eastern Europe, bit of bit of cold there. Not as cold out west, but nevertheless, we are in a cold air mass. And our temperature on uh, Christmas Eve, Eve looks like that, around uh, 3, 4 degrees in many central northern western areas. It's around 4 or 5 down in the south. There would be frost early and late. Now, wobble, wobble, wobble is going on with this GFS 12Z run. On Christmas Eve, that high pressure begins to slip south. But remember... We're thinking, we have been thinking, the high pressure would set up over Scandinavia. This GFS run has a high pressure slipping into Germany, which begins to allow something milder to start moving in from off the Atlantic into the north and west. And so instead of getting like very cold up air temperatures to our east, they're all shunted off over to eastern Europe, and uh, we're bringing in a less cold air mass. From off the Atlantic on Chris Eve. However, dew points are still pretty cold in the far southeastern corner and, you know, quite chilly elsewhere. Mainly dry weather, plenty of sunshine, a few showers around coastal areas. Another cold day, especially across northern and eastern Europe. We're quite cold too, though, with temperatures again only around four or five degrees. That's Christmas Day, so we start to move a weather system in off the Atlantic on Christmas Day, but we haven't got any blocking. So we're not bringing in any cold air from the east. Actually, we're trying to infiltrate mild air from the Atlantic on Christmas Day. Our prayer temperatures look like that. Chilly maybe, but certainly not particularly cold. Dew points are below freezing, though, across most parts of England and Wales, so it is quite a cold Christmas day with plenty of sunshine. It's milder across Scotland and Northern Ireland. There's a band of rain which might turn to sleet or snow over high ground, moving into the far north, north and west of the country, otherwise mainly dry, especially for England and Wales, where there would be plenty of sunshine. Uh, temperatures on Christmas Day, uh, it is a cold Christmas Day, but be a frost again, uh, you know, to begin, so it'd be nice and, and crunchy and white anyway, you have seasonal feel. Uh, and temperatures generally quite cold across most parts of the country, only 2 or 3 degrees through much of central England, colder than that across northern England. Northern Ireland uh, does look a little bit milder though. And then we go through into Boxing Day. Now you'll remember when we looked at today's 10 to 14 day, Boxing Day was in unleashing uh, on the midnight and uh, 6 edge GFS. Boxing Day was unleashing like a bitterly cold easterly. Look at this. On this 12Z GFS run, we're actually pushing in a much milder west to southwesterly wind. Upper air temperatures are looking like that. Still quite chilly, but we've got a big warm sector sitting just to our west. We're beginning to lose those cold dew points. They are becoming centred over the continent. It's a mainly dry day. There's probably a band of rain, but maybe with a little bit of winchiness moving southeastwards. Across the country, fizzing out as it does so 
So a lot of dry weather, probably miss some fog as well. Temperature's still on the cold side. So it is quite a cold Christmas. You know, having said there's a wobble going on, GFS is still going for quite a cold Christmas. Uh, and Boxing Day is around 4 or 5 degrees in the south and colder than that up in the north. But by the 27th of December, look at this, we're bringing in a long fetch southwesterly with the air originating from the Azores. So suddenly we find ourselves bathed in these very mild upper air temperatures. Lots of wet weather piling up from the southwest as well. That's heavy rain. Temperatures becoming much milder across Western Europe with cold air retreating back north and east. And look at those temperatures up to double digits on the 27th of December through much of western and southwestern uh, parts of the country. The 28th of December, uh, which again is a bank holiday day, uh, goes uh, properly wet and windy gale force winds with this area of low pressure. Mild upper air temperatures though. Showers or longer spells of rain and uh, temperatures are mild as well, especially so across England and Wales. 29th of December, again we're dragging in this uh, mild west southwesterly wind. Look at those upper air temperatures, they're looking really mild as well. We're between bands of rain then. Um, temperatures again across much of West Europe look mild, coldest in the north and east of Europe. And again, look at those temperatures into double digits widely across Ireland, England, and Wales. Even Scotland is relatively mild. Flat as a pancake for 30th of December, so uh, that's westerly and rather zonal. Mild in the south, cooler perhaps up in the north, plenty of rain around as well. Temperatures across West Europe again looking really mild. Uh, and look at that, temperatures up to 12, 13 degrees in the southeast corner on the 30th of December. Cold than that further north, but not especially cold. And as far as we go, it's to New Year's Eve when we're bringing in this west to northwest wind, so it's a little bit cooler on New Year's Eve with sunshine and showers. Uh, obviously some sort of area of wet weather has swept across England and Wales. That's currently into the Southern North Sea be replaced by showery conditions. And those temperatures are looking a little bit cooler, but only back down to around average. So obviously if we just to go with that, we would say that um, the latest GFS run, you know, is suggesting quite a mild uh, Christmas. And, well, quite a coldish Christmas, but just after it goes mild. These are the GFS upper air temperature precipitation ensembles for uh, Norwich. I won't go through them in too much detail, but the thick green line is that GFS operational run. You can see it does lose the plot a bit, you know, as we go through the Christmas period. It's definitely like at the very mildest end of the range from around sort of Christmas Day onwards. Um, many of the ensemble members are down here still looking quite cold. So the GFS ensembles still ought to be favouring quite cold weather around Christmas, but uh, a little bit less so in terms of the operational run, which did go very mild, of course. I'll just show you the rest of the 12-set data before we go. We wouldn't normally do this in a Christmas update, but as we're in such an interesting period that, that I thought we would. So um, this is how the uh, UK Met is looking. Let's just enable the hover. That's the UK Met Euro. So this only goes to 180 hours, but the latest idea is again high pressure reaching north. We'll see weekend into the early part of the next week. Then sitting around the country only next week will produce frost and fog. As we get to this time next week, midday Wednesday, High pressure gone a long way north. It's between Scotland and Greenland, centre around Iceland, and we started to pull in some colder air from the northeast. That looks so much better for cold compared to like what the GFS would be showing at that point. The upper air temperatures will actually be uh, going cold, and that begin to pull cold air in from the northeast with the UK Met uh, Euro uh, to 180 hours. The GEM uh, looks like this. There it is. Uh, you remember GM uh, midnight run wobbled in today's 10 to 14 day. The latest idea from the GM is again to take that high pressure uh, northwards as we go through the early part of uh, next week. And it centres a long way north. So this is around this time next week, uh, midday on Wednesday. Again, same as UK met Euro, really high pressure blocking between Iceland and Scandinavia. That's going to allow colder air to move in from the northeast. And uh, as we head on towards Christmas period, so that is like um, Christmas uh, Eve, uh, Eve, uh, Christmas Eve, Eve. Uh, so high pressure in over Scandinavia winds in from a cold easterly direction. It could be bringing snow showers to eastern areas if that comes off. And we keep it cold uh, up to Christmas Day as well, day 10. Keeps things cold with the GM. High pressure over to the North Country winds coming in from that east or northeasterly direction. If you look at the upper air temperatures on Christmas Day, they're looking cold. We're not that far away from the minus 10 cells. So the GM has gone back to a colder outlook 
for Christmas compared to this morning. Uh, we'll look at iCarlum and finally we'll finish with the uh, ECFW. If you've enjoyed this 20th Christmas update, please smash your like button. Please just sub to the channel. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that and drop a comment. Let's not think about this and all of our videos. So, this is how the uh, icon is looking. So, how far north do you get that high pressure? through next week. It's going quite a long way north, to be honest. It looks like it's more or less in line, uh, you know, with the UK Met. So, uh, yes, looking quite blocked. That's not putting quite as much cold air in that high pressure as the UK Met does. But much of that shit is not as bad as the uh, GFS 12Z was. And then the last model to look at will be uh, the ECMW, which we've been updating as we've been doing this video. So here we go, then. This is what the uh, ECM is showing again at high pressure ridges northwards as we go through the early part of uh, next week. Becomes quite a major blocking feature uh, around Greenland to Scandinavia. In the middle part of next week, we are sort of ramping up the Atlantic a little bit. That's going to stage a little bit of an attack, I think. So let's see what happens. So uh, ECM sticking with this idea of like a slider low. Looking very interesting on Chris Eve. Low pressure trying to come in off the Atlantic, but blocked to our north and east. Low pressure beginning to slide to the southeast. That's how because we get to Christmas Day. And that is suggestive of snow. Might turn to rain in the south. But with this low pressure coming in, this cold air from the east, I reckon that is rather suggestive of some snow. That's how the upper air temperatures look with the uh, ECM. So, uh, yeah, that's Christmas Eve, minus 5 Celsius ice firm through the country. That is Christmas Day. The low pressure's having a go, pushing in. Um, and, yeah, I reckon the ECM uh, could deliver some snow on Christmas Day. I'll see the detail on that would be to be determined how far north this low pressure gets would, de would determine where the boundary is between the cold and mild air. But uh, the ECM more or less sticking to its guns and looking quite cold and uh, wintry, I think, going into the Christmas period will be a little bit more unsettled. But also perhaps the greatest risk with this model of, uh, of getting a snow event from Christmas Eve into Christmas Day. How interesting would that be? So the... Um, the GFS 12Z idea does look rather right, so I have to say it's a, it's a mild outlier. doesn't look like within its ensemble. It doesn't look like it has much support from any other model either. So we could still be on course for quite a coldish Christmas here. Uh, let's just go there to get. We could still be on course for quite a uh, cold Christmas here. We shall just wait and see how it all plays out. My next installment will be with tomorrow's videos. And uh, the 21st Christmas update is going to be released on Friday. Um, as I say, we are getting to the end of our Christmas updates now. If you enjoyed the video, please smash the like button. Make sure you sub to the channel. Thank you so much for doing that. And drop a comment. Let's know about this and all of our videos. What do you think is going to happen over Christmas? It's on a night badge. It's 50 50. It's all to play for. So uh, let me know what you think is going to happen in the comments. And uh, we'll be back with more videos tomorrow. And uh, we'll update you then for the 20th Christmas update. That's all for now. And thanks for watching.